Hello, Star Family, and welcome to my channel. This pick a card is about your person and their current energy towards you at the moment. Just to make you aware, it may resonate more for those who are maybe in no contact or are having issues in their current relationship. Um, so I have four stacks on the table. If you hadn't had a chance to meditate on the stacks as of yet, please go back to the beginning of the video. Also check out the timestamps uh, because there's a portion there that is set up specifically for silent meditation. So that way you can take as much time as you need, pause where necessary to choose the stack that you feel most drawn to. If in during that time, uh, during meditation, you feel led to pick more than one stack, by all means, please go ahead and do that. Um, it's whatever you feel led to do. So if it's more than one, by all means, choose more than one, okay? Now, readings are timeless, so they may resonate whenever the universe nudges you to watch. I always say if it's placed into your awareness and you feel that pull, to watch there's probably a message there for you so whether it be now at the upload time or maybe a couple years down the road it doesn't really matter it's whenever you feel that nudge or that uh like intuitive push to watch by all means go ahead and watch and if this reading in particularly doesn't have uh, any messages for you you can always check out my pick a card playlist because I have other readings you might find another one that would resonate better and if I'm not the reader for you that's totally okay as well because YouTube is full of so many other readers I'm pretty sure someone out there in YouTube land has a message that you're looking for also keep in mind that some roles can be reversed vice versa interchangeable um, flip-flopped okay so there might be some tidbits that would connect more in regards to the way you're feeling there might be some tidbits that would describe more um, of your person and maybe what they're going through okay so just keep that in mind roles and situations and descriptions can be interchangeable so with all of that being said star family thank you so much for spending time with me today i'm going to go ahead and move the uh two three and four stacks out of the way we're going to get directly into stack number one stack number one you chose this design here okay so let's see your person's energy towards you right now. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so. All right, so we have balance. It says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. We have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. We have calling in your soulmate. It says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And then we have the Six of Wands. Wow, Six of Wands. Five of Swords. The Eight of Swords. All right, we have Faith. We also have Gift, Desire, and then Confidence. It says, believe in magic. You don't need an explanation for everything. Trust it has happened for all the right reasons. Okay. Um, wow. All right. So I'm honestly thinking that your person's energy towards you right now is one of kind of like, it, it almost feels like their hands are tied where they feel that their hands are tied in regards to you or when it comes to you with the eight of swords. Okay. And if you look closely, she does have the rope around her wrist. So that's the vibe that it's giving me. Like, it's almost like my hands are tied. So they feel like they're tied in knots in some kind of way when it comes to you. It's like wanting to overcome the obstacles uh, with the six of wands because this usually talks about triumph over adversity, right? And victory over such things. But with the six of wands, yeah, it wants to have a victory with you. So I think your person's energy is like, you know, they want to have a victory with you, but they feel somehow that their hands are tied. Uh, there could be some challenges in the connection with the five of swords. You know, the number five itself does talk about uh, challenges, instability, things that are unpredictable, right? So number five in general. Um, but the five of swords always, you know, I don't know, it kind of gives up a, off a vibe where it's like somebody's always walking away hurt, right? So it might've been a situation between you and your person where somebody walked away hurt and it's like their energy towards you right now is kind of like, you know, it feels like a no-win situation. So it's like, all I could do is really just be patient. Um, it's kind of like out of my hands, right? Uh, there's this energy of balance as well. So like trying to do the right thing, right? Um, I don't know if they feel, I, I'm kind of getting the vibe that maybe they feel that keeping their distance for now maybe is the right thing for some of you, maybe who are in no contact. 
All right, so it's kind of like I want to overcome the obstacles, but it's like it's a no-win situation. My hands are tied. There's something that seems out of their control at the moment, or they feel that way at least. Um, they're trying to have patience through the situation and just find um, balance in the meantime, okay? Um, I do believe that this energy is saying, hey, this is your soulmate, all right? This is somebody who, you know, they, they might pray for you. They might have uh, visions of you or visualizations about you right trying to maybe bring you together so it could be that you know they want to be with you right they still want to be with you but there's something that creates a limitation here with the eight of swords something that makes them feel that their hands are tied and that if they were to try uh to overcome these obstacles that it could end up being like a no-win situation or somebody's going to walk away hurt or they might say the wrong thing uh the five of swords energy is that energy where it's like you know you, you could say something really sharp uh, to hurt somebody, maybe, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where like words come out and you can't take them back. So I don't know if that was a dynamic um, in the connection somewhere along the line, but it is kind of feeling like if they came forward, it might end up more in an argument than actually solving anything. So it's kind of like this feeling of I'll keep my distance for now, okay, as far as their current energy. Um, but it's not like they don't see you and them overcoming things somewhere down the road because these two cards are indicating that okay um it's almost like with this energy here they're holding space for you uh space in the hopes that you know one day you guys will overcome the the obstacles oops the obstacles and the challenges right and free yourself from this limitation that you currently find yourself in with each other so it's a matter of your person's energy towards you just trying to maintain balance in the meantime because you know if there's nothing you can do at the moment the only thing you can kind of do is just you know hold faith or hold space and maintain um patience in the midst of you know any uh challenge that you might find yourself in right um there is energy of faith so this does tie in here and loyalty right because we have the dog um, there is an energy of faith here with this card and then also, you know, when you pray and you, you know, you try to keep hope alive for something that is faith, right? Um, so it's kind of like your person's energy towards you is like, you know, I can see myself growing old with my person, you know, no matter what, even in, you know, the challenge that we might find ourselves in, there is this loyalty that's still there and present. So they honor that. Um, it feels like as far as towards you, they honor that energy towards you uh they still hold space so that's beautiful and then we have the gift energy here which talks about equal give and take equal give and take reciprocal energy right um it's kind of like this feeling of they're desiring that they're desiring that equal give and take and that balance right so this gift card kind of ties into the balance energy so it's like they are desiring, right, desiring reciprocity, balance, eventually, you know, that that would be something you guys could achieve. Again, Six of Wands talks about achievement. So there's a there's a desire to actually achieve that equilibrium, okay, equal energy exchange of the gift. Because when you give somebody something, um, you know, you give it out of the kindness of your heart, uh, it is a gesture, um, it's a it's a gesture that you do when you're thankful to somebody, you know, it's it's basically you took care of me Let me show you that, you know that I'm grateful. Let me show you that I care, you know that kind of thing So I am seeing it as the desire for reciprocal energy. The issue is with this card, right? Um, this card here talks about things that you long for in a distance and if you hold on a second here Hold on. Wait, I just saw it. Okay. Let me go back <laughs> um, She has a picture frame right she has a picture frame on the table there's a picture of her beloved or somebody's beloved right here right so it's kind of like implying um that yeah you are at a distance because you see this person is looking out the window they're desiring something quite not in their grasp something's at a distance from them there's a little nostalgia here with the photo frame on the table so they're reminiscing about somebody uh, they are daydreaming about somebody, so your person's energy is that maybe they're daydreaming about you, they're nostalgic and reminiscing over you, maybe looking at your photos, because we do have the photo here. Um, you know, Cupid is also there, right? So I'm feeling like, yeah, your person's energy is that they're still, they're still nostalgic for you, they still think about you, they probably still look at your photos, um, they're desiring a better outcome, one where it's going to work out for everybody involved, you know, because that does talk about balance. Um, and they're just trying to maintain faith 
that eventually these issues will work out and I'm feeling like a vibe of um, the problems will get resolved, right? The Eight of Swords is an energy where it's like, you know, eventually you you free yourself from the, the limitation that you might find yourself in at the moment. There is a moment where you have that liberation. So it's kind of like my hands are tied for now, but I know, you know, I know things will work out for the best in regards to stack number one, you who are watching, right? So that's kind of like their vibe. Like, I know my hands are tied towards my person number one, but um, I'll just, you know, do what I have to do for now. Eventually, everything will work out for the best. That's kind of the energy that I'm feeling uh, from them towards you at the moment. We have confidence, right? So it says, believe in magic. You don't need an explanation for everything. Trust it has happened for all the right reasons. So again, if there were some things that went down in the past, uh, you had your ups and downs, your obstacles, your challenges, right? Uh, with that five of swords, you know, it, these things probably, you know, as, as far as what this says here, it wasn't in vain, okay? Everything is, a, is an experience, a learning experience. Um, so it is, again, the idea of wanting to manifest you back in some way, right? Because magic is that. It's your energy and, and your ability to manifest, right? So your person is trying to manifest you back in, okay? Thing, everything happens for a reason, right? That's kind of the vibe that this is giving off. You know, just have confidence. Again, the faith, right? Have confidence in the path that everything's going to work out. So your person is still holding on to hope and faith and they're confident that eventually everything is going to just resolve itself because we do have the six of wands. So we can't ignore that there is a possible victory here, right? So once this all resolves itself, the limitation is lifted, the victory comes through, right? And you have to remember in this card here, the people are have grown old together, okay? So... Whenever I see an old married couple, I think of like all the things that they've been through, right? They must have been a lot to get to that point because marriage isn't easy. It's not an easy road, right? But when you have faith in the other person and you work together as a team, you can overcome anything, correct? So I kind of think that's the vibe and there's loyalty, especially especially when there's loyalty and devotion to one another. You can, you can be, you know, a hundred years together. So that's the vibe. It's like the idea of like, I would like to grow old with my person, but there's some issues in the way at the moment that tie us up and keep us from being together, right? But I have hope and faith and confidence that one day this will all resolve itself and we can maybe grow old together. All right, so let's get messages from the bag because, you know, I know you guys like the bag. Um, let's see what we got. I always make a mess on the table of the cards. They're always so pretty. And then when I go and I grab from the bag, I like, destroy everything so uh, let me see messages from your person in this bag let's see what we can get please don't cry okay so it's like it's almost like this vibe of like maybe if you've cried over them cried over the absence or if let's say whoa if they made you cry right if they made you cry look at this little boy he is crying he is sad like these two over here are poking fun at him right they might they might have made him cry there you go look <laughs> It's crazy. All right, so the bag's already coming through. Um, let's see what we get. They don't want you to cry. They don't want you to be sad. Or maybe they're the ones who are sad and crying. All right, so what's going on here? Because there's like... No one compares to you, stack number one. You see that? Your person's energy is still... Oh, wow. Look at that. Your person's energy towards you is still really good even in, in this uh, situation. Look. I see your value, right? The gift is kind of that, you know? It's that gesture of appreciation, of gratitude, of value, like I value you, you know? You are my world, okay? Trying to be better, look at that. Trying, they're trying to be better and waiting. Wow. Okay. So this ties in very beautifully. I just think this is confirming the fact that there is some limitation at the moment with that eight of swords and they're waiting for that to kind of clear its, its, you know, way out. Um, again, just being patient, right? Patient. So yeah, when you're patient, you're patiently waiting for something usually. So this bag is like on point with this right now, just confirming these cards. 
um, that we got for your stack. So I'm loving this. Uh, stack number one, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, so I want to say if you still have hope in the connection as well, it looks like your person's energy towards you is pretty much on point uh, in the same manner. Okay, so I'm going to leave you here, stack one. If you feel this reading has resonated and connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe, click that bell for notifications to support this channel and so that way you never miss a video. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, uh, please check out the information in the description box down below as well as in the pinned comment. The link to my Etsy shop is there. Uh, just know that when you check out my shop, there are times when my readings are sold out. And when that happens, it looks like there are no readings available at all, okay? But it's because they were sold out. But please know that um, I always relist my readings as soon as they are completed for the person who purchased them last, okay? And I do that because I don't want anyone waiting, um, you know, three months to get a reading with me. My wait time is only six to nine days because of the way I manage it, okay? So... It, it just makes everybody happy that way, all right? So you're not waiting extremely long to get a reading. But nonetheless, check in with me every so often, see what's available, and book a reading whenever you feel that too, okay? So much love to you, stack number one. I'll leave you here. Keep shining, be safe out there, and be well. Stack number two. So we're looking at today your person's current energy towards you, kind of like an energy checkup to see what, you know, what's going on with them as far as what they're, what their energy towards you at the moment whether you're maybe not talking with them at the moment maybe no contact perhaps you've had some issues or some uh, troubles with them in some way let's see what their energy is towards you at the moment okay so you pick this design right so we're just gonna put that here all right so we have adversity I accept that challenges are the best way to learn health I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay, I always, whenever I think of the word health, I also think of healing. Okay, so that's good. Um, reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so possibly wanting to heal and reconcile the situation, maybe overcome some things with you um, to move past a point of adversity or some issues of adversity here. So let's see what we got. All right, we have the full. Okay. I just want to make sure you can see everything. The three of swords. All right, well, that would explain the adversity, right? The three of swords and the adversity card go together. Uh, then we have the death energy. So somebody could be a Scorpio. We have illness. Okay, we also have, well, we have the health card. Um, I don't know if somebody's actually experiencing a physical illness. I mean, that's a possibility considering it's emphasized here. Uh, with the health and the illness card okay i hope not i hope everybody's in good health but um you never know so let's see we have fidelity we have the house and says questions what are you thinking what oh, i'm sorry what you are thinking is absolutely correct it takes courage to trust yourself especially when everything points in a different direction wow okay so Wow, your person's energy is, um, even though, okay, even though we have the death card and the three of swords, I still get the vibe that their energy towards you is still quite positive, all right? I think they're looking to return to your life and reconcile, right? Uh, kind of heal the things that perhaps were not unwell or not well in the connection, all right? There was maybe an issue uh, where things just weren't healthy in the connection, um, trying to read the clock on there. It looks like it's eight o'clock or eight, maybe seven, seven fifty-five, perhaps. I don't know. You tell me what, what time you think that says. I think it says seven fifty-five, like almost eight, right? So anyway, seven fifty-five might mean something to you. Um, nonetheless, we have cards that are indicating that they want to heal something, right? There has been heartbreak. There has been loss. There has been sorrow. Maybe even a conflict of head and heart with the Three of Swords. Because whenever I think of the Three of Swords, I think of the swords, which are mental energy. And I think of the heart, which is the emotion and love. And, you know, the swords, the mental energy basically piercing the heart. So the the head messing with the heart, that's, that's kind of how I see the Three of Swords. 
Um, so I feel like that's they have had that. They have had their head messing with their heart, maybe even creating uh, the conflict between the head and heart, which also just perpetuates confusion. So I think they have been going through some things, um, perhaps in the midst of not talking or since an absence, I feel, um, if they've been away from you or apart from you in any kind of way, whether it be figurative, right, or actually literal and geographically away from you, um, they've been going through some things. So it kind of feels like they're experiencing some loss with that Three of Swords. And this loss has kind of initiated some major changes for them. Uh, the heartbreak itself, maybe the loss of the connection perhaps, has initiated some major changes here with the death energy. And it's like, these kind of, what it feels like from this card, is like these are lessons they couldn't quite avoid learning, right? It was almost like a, a I don't know why I just got the vibe of like a learning curve. It's just like something they, they kind of had to adjust to whether they liked it or not. Um, but it was, it was ne it's kind of feeling like the vibe of like necessary, right? Um, I don't know why I'm getting the vibe of like necessary to challenge them. So their energy is that they've been challenged, okay? Their energy towards you is that they've been challenged in this connection um and it was kind of necessary all right with this death card it was major transformation it was almost like i'm feeling like your connection with them was a catalyst for some major change that needed to happen in them um and it's kind of like uh seeing that now like their energy towards you is that they see this now um the adversity obviously the the loss, the three of swords, um, look at my hair falling everywhere. Um, <laughs> the loss of the, th or the three of swords kind of created the adversity, created and initiated the change. Um, but it was needed because it's kind of like feeling like the fool is saying to me, what they were doing before wasn't working, right? It wasn't working. Um, and they were kind of, they kind of needed to release some baggage, right? I don't know. Your reading is, is, is coming out very interestingly. Okay. Um, it's like needing to, <laughs> needing to release some baggage because to me, the fool doesn't carry baggage. He has to let the baggage go in order to walk along his journey, right? And not be scared of it. So it's kind of like, this is brand new energy, you know, new beginnings, wanting to take that leap of faith. But in order to take that leap of faith towards anything or anyone, you got to let go of the baggage. So it's kind of feeling to me like your person had a lot of baggage, personal baggage wounds maybe that they were carrying on to and holding on to for a long time and they're like here you come along and you shake them up to the point where you you maybe show them their baggage and they're forced to deal and handle it right um and yeah it's like the they were forced to change or forced to look at themselves uh they were forced to heal th their wounds because they were carrying around things for a long time um, and maybe that's why the the relationship itself perhaps had some adversity because it was um, a moment where they had to kind of like face their own music and release their own baggage. Because you can't start anything new with the fool if you're still hanging on to wounds from the past, right? You can't change and transform if you're not looking to let go of what's no longer working. Um it's like they tried to have something with you and maybe it was new at the time and exciting, right? And there was optimism there, but then quickly it kind of feels like things started to come up to the surface. And then it was forcing them to, to see that there were some things that were unhealthy about their own behaviors, perhaps, about their own core wounds, right? Or childhood wounds. And it kind of mirrored them. So it's like their energy towards you now is kind of seeing the depth of all of that and maybe how it's changed them and transformed them. Uh, it has created, it created a lot of maybe conflicts of head and heart in the very beginning, but ultimately it was for the good of their uh, ev personal evolution with the death card because that is all about transformation and change and you kind of like, or anyone really coming out of the chrysalis, you know, it's that transformative energy uh, where, you know, the, the struggle makes us stronger. Um, so the full energy, again, you know, it's like I'm feeling the vibe also from this that your person um, is kind of making me, laugh, making me laugh a little bit because it kind of makes sense, right? Uh, where your person is kind of seeing themselves as a fool, all right? Um, 
because they didn't get the bigger picture right i don't know why like this this pointy thing up here in this design is kind of giving me uh the vibe of like you know seeing from a higher perspective right you rise up you start at the bottom you rise up but when you get to the top you can see things from a higher perspective so it's like oh i was such a fool i was such a fool why didn't i see things differently you know or why didn't i see it that way at the time why didn't i why wasn't i self-aware enough to know that that's what was happening at the time right uh, so all it all it did, you know, the, them struggling with their own inner wounds and their own issues coming up to the surface for healing, kind of just created a little bit of a of a um, a conflict within themselves, which trickled down into the connection. It feels like here, okay, um, and yeah, just created an unhealthy environment at the time. And it's like your person in the midst of maybe not talking or going their own way, they are healing. Uh, they're trying to heal. And you know what's what's really cool about this card? I mean, look at the lady, you know giving medicine and being the healer, right? So I'm kind of wondering if you, number two, uh, person that's watching, if you, even in the midst of your, your issues with your person, has always been the one trying to heal it, okay? And there's a heart over the bed, so we know that there's love here. Even in the midst of the issue or the illness or uh, the struggle, you've still been the healer or maybe the one maybe sending love to the connection, all right, so we have fidelity and house. So again, it's also about trying to regain stability here with the house energy, right? To me, this is like a mini four of wands and trying to have that stability. And yeah, I mean, look at it, doesn't it? I mean, you tell me what you think. I think it looks like the four of wands. So whenever I look at it, I can't help but think about that card. Um, but it is about a firm foundation. It's like trying to regain a firm foundation in a situation. Nonetheless, we have the dog energy. Um, and that is a symbol also of fidelity and it's like, yeah, there's, there's definitely an energy of, of, of wanting to kind of like reconcile, regain that stability, have that loyalty back in some way, heal the, the issues that you've had in the connection, heal themselves. All right. So their energy towards you is one of wanting to heal, reconcile, solve, um, maybe any, um, confusion in the connection in some way and I guess I'm getting confusion from the uh I guess her body language because look she's like got head her head in the hands right and it's like oh you know it's like this is all a mess it's like wanting to heal the mess they created okay that's the energy I'm feeling from this reading and then questions you know they're learning to trust themselves you know right now things may seem a little bleak in their mind um, as they're going through this process of healing perhaps but they're also trying to trust the process is what I'm getting from this card so I feel like this top line is saying what you are thinking is absolutely correct so if you had a question in your mind <laughs> right that's kind of saying what you were thinking about is correct yeah they're trying to it's, it almost feels like they're trying to trust themselves as they heal and overcome their issues, their their wounds, their internal conflicts within themselves. But it's a transformation process. And that's what this death card is all about. And that's what they're experiencing at the moment too. Major change in transformation. And it's kind of like giving me the vibe that once they get through this, don't be surprised that their energy, you know, starts gravitating towards you again with this reconciliation card. Because they haven't quite let you go with this fidelity card you see the dog is sitting on the grave he hasn't he hasn't been able to kind of let go of his master uh there's this undying loyalty so you, they can't forget um so yeah don't be surprised if their energy slowly starts creeping towards you to try to reconcile and heal this and reestablish that foundation that you guys once had um also the house talks about safety and security where you feel safe and where you feel comfortable right so i think this is maybe indicating their energy towards you uh, maybe you made them feel safe. Like I said over here, it was this vibe of like you were maybe always the healer, right? You made them feel safe. You tried to make them feel secure. But again, if their childhood wounds came up to create that little disturbance, you know, that would explain. Even though you tried to reassure them as much as you could that you cared, that you were there for them. But if their own self didn't see themselves as worthy of the kind of love that you were trying to give, no wonder it would create this conflict, right? So let's take a look at messages from the back. All right, let's see. Mm. 
my gosh, there's a, like there's so many in here. Cold shoulder. So is somebody afraid that maybe you gave them the cold shoulder or that you would, right? If they ever tried to came, come back and reconcile or perhaps they gave you the cold shoulder again. Um, if you were trying to offer that kind of that healing love and show them that you, you know, you really cared and they kind of turned the cold shoulder, just know that wasn't, um, that was more of a reflection of them, right? Than it was you. And it could have stemmed from their childhood wounds, maybe not letting them see themselves as worthy of the kind of love you were offering. All right. So, and again, they probably see themselves as a fool. Like, why didn't I, you know, see that before about my person? Look, show me. Maybe that's your energy wanting them to show you, right? Or not only that, you were showing them, weren't you? You are probably showing them the love. All right, what do we got? Took my breath away. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like I can't get, yeah, there we go. Took my breath away. Something about your voice. Okay. Maybe your voice is soothing. Maybe it has a healing quality about it. Oh, look at that. So they may feel that there are too many things in the way at the moment. Oh, look, falling apart. Wait a minute here. Falling apart. We have the illness card, okay? And the health energy as well. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I hope somebody's not, doesn't have a, a you know, a medical issue or health problem or anything like that. Uh, but technically falling apart, maybe they let the relationship fall apart, right? I want to know everything about you. So maybe in the absence, right? Maybe there have been some things that they would like to learn about you. They want to know everything about you. Let's see here. All right, I just want like two. Let's try again. There you go. There's the idea of reconciliation, right? We have it here. Let's try again. Reconciliation. So uh, definitely the person's energy towards you is that they would like to reconcile the situation. Get to know each other again, perhaps. Oh, look at that. Is it too late? I don't know, sack number two. That's something you might have to decide. Um, when they come uh, crawling back, like I said, I got the vibe that the energy is going to shift. Don't be surprised if, you know, their energy starts to gravitate towards you again, because it still looks like they, they realize they made some mistakes that they might've been a fool at the time. Um, but it looks like they, they want to try again. Okay. So sack number two, this is your reading. I'll leave it here. Um, if you feel this connects for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below, like, share, subscribe, click that bell for notifications. So you never miss a video. And that way you also support this channel. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is visit my Etsy shop. The link is in my description box, as well as in the pinned comment. Uh, please know that there are times when my shop looks empty of any readings as if there is none available, but please know if it does look empty, one day it's because readings were sold out and I don't relist my readings again until they've been completed for the people who have purchased them last. Um, I have my method, the method to my madness, basically. It's just so that way no one ever gets, um, you know, I don't ever get backed up with readings and that way also, you know, people get their readings in a timely manner. I wouldn't, I would never want anybody waiting like a month, three months or something like that to get a reading from me. Uh, my time frame right now is six to nine days uh, to get a turnaround for a reading. Okay. So as long as I do that, uh, if I continue to do it that way, everybody's happy. Everybody gets what they need and not waiting a ridiculous amount of time to get a reading from me. Okay. So, and plus I'm only one person. <laughs> 
So I can only manage so much at the same time while also trying to provide content for the channel. So anyway, stack number two, um, much love to you. Be blessed, okay? Stay safe out there. Uh, I know the world is kind of in a mess right now, but anyway, be safe, be well, and we'll see each other okay, soon. Okay, stack number three, you chose this design, okay? So what we're looking today is at your person's energy towards you right now. So whether it be in separation or contact, perhaps you're having some troubles with your person, um, we want to take a look at their current energy towards you. Okay, so let's see. All right, it says acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. All right. Two of Cups. So that's actually a really good card to have. Two of Cups, trust, okay. The Lovers, holy cow. Okay, so we have Gemini possibly here. And we have the Four, Four of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Lover. Okay, so the lover and the lovers. All right, we're on a roll now. All right, so we have sadness, enemy, and indifference. All right, it says some things are worth worrying over, but this isn't one of them. Let go of this situation and reclaim the happiness that has been stolen from you via these past events. All right. So that's, that's interesting to have, considering we got like very positive cards here but i'm curious how this will play in all right so stack number three i'm looking at this like your person's current energy towards you kind of feels like with this card right that they're just basically accepting the the situation as it is for now right there's that there's nothing much more that they can do about it the way it stands at the moment um, and it, maybe it's tying into a little bit of this indifference energy. It's like, you know, there's some things you just can't change. Um, it is what it is. You know, it's that kind of vibe with this card and the acceptance. So there is like a little bit of indifference there. You know, it's it's kind of like, you know, the serenity prayer, right? You, you just have to know when you can't, you can't control anything, you know, when when it is what it is and let it go because holding on to what you can't change isn't going to help heal the situation. So it's that kind of vibe that I'm getting from this. Um, and yes, it would take trust because if it's out of your hands, if it's out of your control, it would require that you trust the situation or the unfolding of the outcome, right? That you have to kind of just let it be, uh, give it to God, give it to the universe, whatever you want to, you know, call it. It's one of those things that there are just some things you cannot control. And it does take some growth in order to realize, you know, what you can't change. You know, um, I do feel like there is something that has maybe sabotaged the connection in some way, uh, whether it be a mindset or an outside force or influence, because we do have this enemy card. And sometimes it talks about self-sabotaging, you know, energy, or it talks about, someone or something trying to create um a disturbance right of some kind in the connection i still feel like your person's energy though is like even though there may be issues that perhaps sabotage the connection in some way um there is still a lot of love here all right it does feel though at the moment even though there is love here because we have many cards kind of emphasizing you know the vibe of it um there is still this kind of closed off energy I'm picking up from the four pentacles because the four pentacles kind of does that. I mean, look at her. She's she's probably sitting on a, you know, a treasure trove of of jewels and coins and and all this stuff, you know. So you, with the four of pentacles, you kind of keep to yourself. You don't really let anybody in. You don't want to share. Um so they might come off as indifferent towards you, right? Uh they might come off as indifferent, but when it really boils down to it, it kind of feels like that's, that's pretend. It's not their true energy towards you. It's a, it's more of a facade that they're putting on. Uh, they might keep a tight or they might be tight lipped where, you know, with the four of pentacles where they're not sharing how they feel. They're not extending, um, their energy towards you in the physical perhaps at the moment, 
But these three cards right here indicate that that's not exactly the reality of it, deep down. Two of Cups and the Lovers together, come on, that's like, you know, the best combination. Who wouldn't want to have that, right? Um, it's kind of like, you're my soulmate. We have this eye-to-eye -eye connection or this instantaneous um, recognition of one another as such, right? Um, we had a good vibe. We had a good thing going, right? And then something came in to kind of like thwart the connection in some way and create this, this kind of sabotage of some sort. And I feel like with this energy, um, they missed out on you or on the connection or you're both missing out on each other because of something that kind of created this influence or outside force to kind of thwart the connection, right? Um, the lover's energy is also about a decision, right? So there was a decision here or something occurred to lead to a decision being made in the connection. Um, and it created this kind of like closed off feeling or vibe from one another. And if your person has a hard time opening up, that would also explain why this is showing here. Or if you have a hard time opening up and being vulnerable... Um, that's also why the four of pentacles would be here, right? The time on this clock says eight, eight Oh five. Okay. Eight Oh five. So that could mean something to you. And, you know, look at him. He's, he's holding the flowers downward. It's like, he's too late. I mean, it's nighttime. The train probably already passed or he missed the bus to get to his, his, uh, his person. Right. So it's kind of like I missed out on you. I, I, I missed out on the connection or I missed my moment or my opportunity in regards to you in some way. Stack number three. But nonetheless, it feels like even though they pretend right or they put on a, a brave face uh, or they don't share how they feel or they kind of close themselves off. They're keeping their feelings to themselves. Um because they don't, they probably don't want to be vulnerable, right? So they hoard. I mean, it's a hoarding energy with the Four of Pentacles. So you, you hoard all your money, you hoard all your possessions. You don't want to share because you're afraid of being vulnerable, maybe not having those things again. So it's kind of like this vibe of I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to share right now. That doesn't mean though that I don't care. You know, obviously I still feel the energy of this connection here with the Two of Cups. We had good times together, and you know I missed out or I let some things sabotage us. And get in the way but you know i'm still pining over you i'm still thinking about you i'm still sad right i'm still feeling sad over this like it, it does feel like they are that they're in a stage of growth however growth comes in many forms and maybe that's why they have they feel that they they made the decision or they feel that they have to you know, keep to themselves with this four of pentacles, right? Because the lovers is about making a decision. Sometimes it speaks about choice, not only our soulmate connections, um, but it does sometimes speak about making a choice. And I do feel like for whatever reason, they choose to stay away or they choose to keep their distance. Um, it's kind of like, I have to do what I have to do for now. That's kind of the vibe this is giving me. I don't know if there was an ultimatum too, because I just got that vibe of, you know, from the lovers. If there was an ultimatum. Yeah, I honestly do feel like your person's energy is shut off, but it's it's not what you think. It kind of feels like they're using this time apart or a way to kind of restabilize re themselves. Because the number four itself as a number is an energy of stability so it's kind of like regaining their stability because some something about you i think makes them feel vulnerable especially with these cards here and whatever issues you guys had in the connection with this enemy card that created some um sabotage it's like this feeling of well the past is the past. It was what it was. I can't fix that. I can't change what went wrong. All I can do is learn from this experience, uh, learn from my mistakes. All I can do is grow at the moment, 
try to recalibrate myself, put myself back on a solid ground, um, trust here, you know, have faith that eventually something will work out where maybe we can be back together. But, you know, it's kind of like this feeling of I got to isolate myself. I got to I got to be with me right now. I have to grow. I have to kind of get my head on straight. It comes off as indifferent, but it's anything but. And yeah, I mean, because there's a little bit of like, if you look at the body language, there's a little vibe of desperation here, right? Like, what do I do? You know, I'm going through it. <laughs> and there's sadness attached to the connection. Definitely sadness attached to it. Because it looks like you guys had something really strong, really special, really... Um, it wasn't run in the mill. Okay, the connection. Not with these two cards. And maybe this situation, all right, um, is necessary for both of your growth. You know, it's not just about them and their growth. Uh, it's almost necessary if there's a vibe of like, I'll keep, I'll keep my distance from you. You keep your distance from me. But it's like that distance or that closed off feeling where they're not sharing, um, is an opportunity for both of you to grow because in the midst of your absence you do learn about yourself right and maybe you both are also trusting that eventually when you both done your healing you're growing you're learning um you know you guys can somehow find your way back together right with the trust card here again it says something's you know, are worth worrying over, but this isn't one of them. So it's like, there's nothing, there's no point in putting energy towards worry if it's not going to help solve the situation, right? So it's a matter of kind of letting it go. Letting it go, let God, right? Let go and let God. Um... You know, try to be try to be happy or try to be be the best version that you can of yourself from now in the midst of some things that you can't change. But it feels like with the last line that there's a possibility to reclaim the happiness that has been stolen from you. Okay, maybe by whatever this was, maybe this energy here is what stole it. Okay, it feels like if you kind of just surrender for now. Maybe in the future, there'll be a chance to reclaim the happiness that was stolen from you both. All right. In regards to past events. So, um, stack number three. Yeah, I'm going to grab messages from the bag. Um, I'm trying to shuffle them here a little bit. Let's see if we can get messages from the bag to help with this reading. All right. Okay, so are you guys just friends for now? I have to wonder, right? Just friends? But you had that, you definitely had that connection. Maybe they're pretending to be more than just friends, or pretending to be just friends when maybe they feel something more. That's a possibility. Oh, look, lots of introspection. And I was getting the vibe that they were kind of closed off or keeping to themselves with this four of pentacles, right? So maybe that's because of them doing some introspection, right? Growth, right? We have that here. Remember, and oh, did anybody leave the messages unread? So they remember the good times. I feel I was getting the vibe of that from the two, the two of cups, right? The two of cups. Look at the wine and the picnic and the good times shared, right? Um, so they may, maybe they remember the good times between you. Maybe somebody left someone else's messages unread. That's a possibility. Again, to closed off, right? If they're ignoring your messages, if they're keeping you at arm's length, that would explain the Four of Pentacles, which to me, even though we have Major Arcana here, this card is reading the most strongly to me. So it's like that closed off energy of the four of pentacles. Maybe that's what it is. They're kind of acting like they're indifferent. 
Oh, look at that. Conflict of head and heart. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody's queen. Divine feminine energy, right? So you could be the divine feminine in this connection because we do have the two of cups. We do have the lovers. All right, but definitely a conflict of head and heart. Again, that's what I said. They are on one end acting like they don't care, but deep down, that is not true. All right, that is not true. That's where the conflict of head and heart comes in. Oh, somebody might have abandonment issues. Okay, maybe that's what was sabotaging the connection, right? All right, let's see. I don't know what I'm grabbing here, but let's see. Compromised. Yeah, that's that's important in relationships. And then it says charming. So somebody might be charming. Maybe your person has a charming personality. But stack number three, this is your reading, okay? So I think your person literally is just going through some introspection. They're acting like they don't care. They're closed off, maybe leaving your messages unread and ignored, giving you that kind of like arm's distance energy. Um, but I think it's because they have some maybe abandonment issues or some things that for whatever reason they sabotage. Um, they probably have a lot of growing up to do with this energy here. Um, but it's kind of like they're trying to figure themselves out, I think. And that's part of the issue. So this is kind of also saying maybe trust, right? That eventually they'll come to their senses. Um, again, the conflict of head and heart, I think, is coming from them and their issues. Yeah, they did miss out on an opportunity with you with this energy here. And they are a lover. We see the lover's card as well. So that's emphasized. But I think they're just a little bit of a mess in their head. And we can see it here with the energy. So they're conflicted over this connection with you. Okay, their energy towards you is, again, that standoffish vibe that they put up a front with. But deep down, that's not what they really feel. Okay. They act indifferent, but that's not the truth. That's not the reality of the situation. You, you make them confused about themselves, about their heart, about their head. Like you just, I don't know, you trigger maybe something in them that creates this, this muck, right? And it uproots a lot of issues, abandoned issues and some, maybe some self-sabotaging as well. All right. So maybe you're the one who's kind of like in acceptance mode where look, it's like, Hey, I can't accept, I can't change things. I can't change the outcome. I kind of just got to go with my gut and trust, right? So stack number three, this is your reading. If you feel this connects for you, resonates for you, by all means, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe, click that bell for notification to support this channel so you never miss a video. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, all uh, my information is in the description box down below. All you have to do is visit my shop on Etsy, see what readings are available. Um, just know that sometimes it looks like nothing's available as far as readings, and it's because they were sold out. Trust that I always repost my readings, so you have to check in with me every once in a while to see what has become available again. Um, but you can check out my shop, see what's available, and you can book a reading whenever you feel guided to. So much love and blessings to you. Be safe out there. Be well. Keep shining, and I'll see you Stack soon. Stack number four. You chose this design. Okay, so let's see your person. What's their current energy towards you at the moment? Um, most likely this is going to resonate for those who are probably in no contact or maybe are having, you know, issues with their person at the moment where you're having problems, you're not really on the same page, that kind of thing. So let's take a look. What's their current energy towards you at the moment? All right, it says blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Two of pentacles. Knight of wands. Ace of Pentacles. We have the Master card. Malady. 
merriment. And this card says, breathe. Take a few deep breaths and accept that sometimes things just don't make sense. Soon enough, everyone will come to their senses to see the situation for what it is. Okay. All right, your person's current energy towards you. It kind of feels like they're blaming themselves, okay? Like they feel like they are to blame that perhaps they failed in the situation in some way. It's kind of like this vibe of like I failed with my person. I failed. I'm the one to blame. Or maybe they have placed blame in certain instances on you, but really they're the ones to blame, it feels like. And I think that they have come to that conclusion or they're on the verge of that. Um, yeah, I mean, with the malady energy here, we know that there are some things that just were not healthy, right? In the connection, definitely some failures in that situation. But at the same time, there's this like, there's this vibe of like them kind of seeing their place and their role and the role that they played in the situation and kind of like owning up to that. And if they haven't owned up to it yet, they're going to have to eventually see it in themselves and own up to it. Uh, whether it be, you know, now or sometime in the future, you can't kind of run away from that kind of stuff, right? Eventually you have, you'll see the hindsight, you'll see in hindsight 2020, you'll see how uh, every little, you know, thing led up to the way that it did and the role that, you know, everybody played in the situation. So it is kind of feeling like uh, there is this vibe of like yeah i had my i played my part i i did some things maybe that i shouldn't do i did i failed perhaps i failed you number four um but it's kind of like the the feeling of wanting to get back on track like trying to get themselves in a better place because the master card does kind of talk about um self-empowerment you know having your stuff together your ish together right um, and getting back control over yourself, your life. Um, I think that that's probably what they're doing at the moment. They're juggling some things. Like juggling trying to get their life back on track in some kind of way. And if it's for the better, that would be a good thing, right? And part of that journey is kind of owning up to their sh ish, right? You got to own up your... You got to own... You got to take responsibility for your ish. Right? And you're, the part that they played, the role that they played in the way that things unfolded. So it's kind of like um, taking, I'm hearing taking responsibility because the master is in charge of a lot of things and he would be responsible. So it's kind of this feeling of needing to take responsibility. Um, they failed in certain aspects. Yes, they understand that or they will soon be understanding that. They do blame themselves for a lot of things. Uh, Self-blame even perhaps. Um, a lot of that, you know, the, maybe the things that they failed in caused a lot of the toxicities or the illness or the unwellness in the connection in some way, but it still feels like there's something there. I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling like with this card here and these two cards here, they are contemplating an action with the knight of wands uh could be leo aries sagittarius energy that you're dealing with or it could be you somewhere in your chart they're contemplating taking some kind of action towards you but there's also an issue of maybe not being the right time if they don't have themselves together, then it obviously it wouldn't because you don't want anybody to approach you if they are not mature yet, if they're not ready to accept their part of what went wrong, right? Um, so it is, it is feeling like there is an action that they want to take, but they're also contemplating and waiting for the right moment. The Two of Pentacles is this debate, right? Up and down. Twos also speak of decisions sometimes. Again, the contemplation, the up and down, weighing the pros and cons of maybe taking that action with these two cards. 
right? I have to think it through. I have to kind of uh, weigh the pros and cons over here with the Two of Pentacles of this action of the Knight of Wands that I want to take. Knight of Wands energy is always forward movement. It's always, well, any knight really. It's all about action-oriented energy. It's forward movement. Uh, so yeah, there is definitely the debate of that forward movement and possibly an offer being made with the Ace of Pentacles towards a new beginning with you. However, okay, although their energy towards you right now is kind of like in debate, contemplation, choosing their next course of action, maybe even accepting their own failure for the the part that they played um there's still this like kind of holding off energy oh the timing's not right it's just it's just not the right moment let me not take this action um because i could ruin it like that's kind of the vibe that i'm getting i could ruin this it could go downhill real quick if i don't think this through if i don't take proper steps if I don't get a master plan going to approach, um, there is balance and harmony, you know, that comes from this card, uh, you know, because of the music energy with the little sheet of music there. I always think of harmony and merriment, obviously, is this happy energy with this happy couple, right? So it, it's kind of cool how these two cards mirror each other it's kind of like the good with the bad you know the good times the bad times there was a little bit of both of those things in the connection um you had your your ups and your downs right in the connection as well it's like the debate of wanting to to knock on your door with the ace of pentacles energy right with this here it's like it's there they're 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 going like this they're juggling that in their mind and in their head um they are still passionate with the Knight of Wands energy, but yet they haven't, it feels like they're not quite there yet. You know, the quote, little quote underneath here says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Again, I accept responsibility for my actions. I accept that, you know, there were some things that, you know, I had to learn about myself. Um... I'm still working on me, that kind of thing. It's not the right time. It feels like it's not the right time yet to kind of step into this and hand, you know, give my hand or reach out. That's what I'm getting. It's not, I'm not ready to reach out yet. It's not my time. Yet there's still this passion, right? This motivation towards the connection but it's also come it's also feeling like a from a laid back lens right with this divine timing is is at work in your love life it's kind of like from a laid back laid back point of view right they're kind of debating this from a very relaxed point of view while they try to get their life together But I definitely feel with the Knight of Wands, they will do something to approach. And they will come knocking. Because I always feel like the Ace of Pentacles is that blessing. Like the universe knocks at your door, drops off the package you've been waiting for for so long. So, you know, obviously we have the energy of waiting. Um, they're waiting for the right time. You know, you might be waiting for them to own up to their crap, right? And come forward and mature, be mature about the situation and, and show that they have grown up. Um, you might be waiting for them to, to turn the other leaf, right? Um, and yeah, we do have that energy of the possibility of this, of an offer, an opportunity coming through. Once they, in their mind, feel like they're in the right place to do it. I don't know why that, that master card's kind of giving me the vibe of like outside looking in. Yeah, it's kind of like an outside looking in perspective. Maybe um, that's what they've come to. Or maybe you, you probably have come, number four, to that conclusion. Maybe you have that hindsight as well. 
And he says, soon enough, everybody will come to their senses to see the situation for what it is, right? A person, I feel, is almost there. And I think that once they reach that point, they're not going to hesitate with the Knight of Wands energy to come forward and offer something tangible. Okay. It's earth energy. It's it's solid. It's sincere. It's It's made of something real. Something you can touch, hold, look at. Because the Knight of Wands energy doesn't normally hold itself back, right? But I could see it would hold itself back if the moment isn't right to strike, okay? You got to wait for that, that command, right? As any soldier or infantry or, you know, cavalry, you would, you would wait for the, 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 what is it? The, I forgot what, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> You would wait for that moment where you're given the command to go, right? Or given the order to go. So you can't do anything until you're told to, right? So it's kind of like that vibe, like your person doesn't feel like they can do anything at the moment until something works itself out or they have a certain plan in mind which helps them kind of feel more comfortable to do so. So it could be a timing aspect as well. Like the time just doesn't feel right. So they're not going to make their move, even though they're debating it, they're contemplating it. They're setting up a plan to, they won't make the move until it feels absolutely right. Or maybe until you give them a clue or a sign of some sort. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the Ace of Pentacles, you know, it's kind of like the universe trying to hand you something, right? So they're waiting for the universe to hand them a sign like, here you go. Now's the time to do what you wanted to do or to take that step forward in some way. I mean, she is pointing her foot forward. Right? But at the same time, you know, I, I honestly, with this card, with the Malady card, I can't help but think that there's still a little bit of work they are doing on themselves. And that's part of the holdup. It's like not wanting to present themselves to you until they're in their, they're at their best, Right? That's kind of what this is showing me as well, right? He has his ish together. So it's kind of like uh, not wanting to present themselves until they're at their best. And it's like all they can do for now is just breathe, um, do what they can for now in the midst of, of the issue, but eventually, you know, get to a point where they feel well enough to come forward, present an offer, Knock on the door, hope that you open, and maybe accept responsibility for their part, their role, the role that they played, the mistakes that they made. Maybe they'll show you this time around um, that they have matured, okay? Because this is a mature energy. So let me grab um, notes from the bag. Um, I want to see what else there is to say about this because the ace of pentacles is a brand new beginning so you know it's another opportunity to kick kick this off the ground or kick start something again okay um so it looks like it wants to come through a, a, a new opportunity or a new offer of love or a gesture of some sort wants to come through but i also feel it's them that has to take the action in order to initiate it Sorry, I was just trying to get. I was just trying to get um, everything shuffled here because look, there's so many in there. <laughs> okay, let's see. What we got. Oh, look at that! Wow. Eleven, eleven. So that could be you know they say twin flame numbers or whatever but that's definitely synchronistic energy and didn't i say that's so funny i said maybe they're waiting for a sign from the universe right that would be a synchronicity a sign from the universe union yep that's what look oh my goodness this is crazy there you go union they're, they're looking to seek union, okay? But they have to go through whatever they need to go through. So in the past, like, I feel like there was 
yeah, I mean, we had some energy that, you know, was not well. Maybe they were selfish and maybe that was part of what that issue was. There was some selfish energy, right? Like I said, they made some mistakes. And when they come back, they're going to have to own up to that. Um, oh, look, nothing can erase the memory of you. So look, even, even in separation or no contact or in the midst of your issues, right? There you go. Nothing can wipe the memory of you from their mind. Okay, so maybe you couldn't agree on some things, right? You couldn't find compromise. It's not true. So if there was something that perhaps you had assumed about them, believed about them, that you feared, this is kind of answering a question in your mind. Okay, so definitely some regrets. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like they're going to get to a point where they are going to see their the role that they played and accept you know, part of the blame, you know, everybody has their role and they had some failures. Yes. Yeah, so I think whatever failures were in the connection that maybe they played a role in, they do have regrets about that. Okay. Look at that. I struggle to share my feelings. Okay. And that's part of, you know, getting their ish together, right? And that debate of coming forward, right? They're debating trying to come forward and offer this to you. Um, this would be a union card, happy union, right? But they debate that. And that's, I think, part of the issue of, you know, that's maybe that selfish energy was really them just struggling to share how they felt. Like they would keep to themselves. And the debate maybe of even trying to come forward now. Because it's like they got to they gotta figure out a way to do it is kind of what I'm getting. So something about the present or just being present. Okay. Or maybe this is just confirming the present energy. The energy towards you. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't realize I got that many. So something about your perfume. A breakthrough. So maybe looking for a breakthrough. That would be that opportunity, that open door of the Ace of Pentacles, right? That would be that new breakthrough. We have the X. So it could be your X. Yeah, look, just be just be just breathe right just ev let everything be for now it'll all work out in the end that kind of feeling so stack number four this is your reading if you feel that this connects with you by all means please do let me know in the comment section down below like share subscribe click the bell for notifications to support this channel as well and that way so you never miss a video and if you want to book a personal reading with me all my information is in the description box down below as well as in the pinned comment the link to my etsy shop is there all you have to do is visit my etsy shop see what readings i have available and you could book a reading at any time just know there are days and moments where my readings appear as if there's nothing there okay in my etsy shop and the reason why the readings don't show up is because they're sold out as soon as i am done working on them for the people who purchased them last i always repost and relist my readings so it's just a matter of checking in with me every so often to see what has been updated and then you could book a reading whenever you feel led to so much love and blessings to you watching take care be safe out there okay keep shining and i'll see you very soon